Okay, Joe, we've got all the photos. Should go, Jim. Okay, I got it. Hey, let me start uh, by uh, 12 o'clock, Joe, and I'll go around real quick. On the uh, far distant horizon, uh, apparently across the rail, I can see uh, just about our 1 o'clock now, a, uh, a very large mountain, which I'd have to call uh, Hill 305. Roger. And uh, all, of the, all of the features around here are very smooth. The tops of the mountains are rounded off. Uh, there are no sharp, jagged peaks. There are no large boulders apparent anywhere. The whole surface of uh, the area appears to be smooth, with the largest fragments I can see are in the uh, walls of Pluton. Uh, there are no boulders at all on uh, St. George, Hill 305, Bennett, or as far as I can tell, looking uh, back up at Hadley. Hadley's sort of in the shadow. Uh, this is gently rolling terrain completely around 360 degrees hummocky, much like uh, you saw on 14. The uh, pitch line ac across the rill uh, from Hill 305 around to 1 o'clock seems to be a slightly lighter in albedo with some uh, light uh, marks from uh, craters, recent craters apparently. Uh, Bennett Hill also has uh, a lighter colored albedo, one face of it, uh, that facing the sun now is almost completely bright. Uh, as I come around to my two o'clock, uh, the horizon is really the northern complex. I can see, uh, as I mentioned before, Chain, Icarus, and Pluton, uh, very rounded, subdued craters. Uh, it looks like the southern rim of Pluton is on the same level as our uh, location here. The northern rim is somewhat higher, I'd say, uh, Distances are difficult, but maybe uh, 50 meters higher. I can see the tarp on the other side of the north rim of Pluton. Uh, all of it very flat, smooth, and gently rolling. If I look on around uh, the north, uh, Mount Hadley itself is in the shadow, although I can see that the uh, ridge line on the top of Mount Hadley, it too, is smooth. I see no jagged peaks of any sort. Uh, the hill, I would call number 22 on your map, uh, far distance also looks smooth, rounded, no uh, prominent features. I'll uh, skip the distant field around to my 6 o'clock, because it's all in the shadow, and looking into the sun, of course, it obliterates almost everything. As I look on down to uh, my uh, 7 o'clock, I guess I see Index Crater here, the near field, but uh, back up on uh, Hadley, to the east of the Hadley Delta, by again I can see a uh, smooth surface, however I can see liniments, uh, picture for you, there's some very interesting, take uh, Silver Pass and look at uh, 13, on your map, I can't tell whether it's 13 or 16 right now because of the sun, but there appear to be liniments or radiations running, uh, dipping to the uh, northeast parallel, uh, and they appear to be maybe 3% to 4% of the total elevation of the mountain, uh, almost... Uh, uniform. I can't tell whether it's structure or internal stratigraphy or what, but uh, there are definite linear features there uh, dipping to the, to the northeast at about, uh, well, I'd say 30 degrees. Traffickability looks pretty good. It's hummocky. I think we'll have to keep track of our position, but I think uh, we can manipulate the rover fairly well on a straight line, and I, I can see the base of the front as near as I can tell Matter of fact, I think I see where the front runs into uh, the level ground, where we get that five degree inflection. I see no boulders over there whatsoever. Looks like we'll be able to get around pretty good. 